I'm Palestinian. It's not easy being Palestinian, um, living in America. Before 9-11, my family experienced racism, but I did not, except for once. I, my first time I ever, ever experienced it, I was in the sixth grade, and I was walking home from the bus stop with this boy that I've walked home from the bus stop with every day since the first grade. And his house is before mine, so we're walking, we're walking, completely normal. I don't even remember if we were talking, and we stop in front of his house, and he just turns around and he spits on me. And he walks to his house, stands in front of his door, right before he goes in, he says, go back to your own country. And he walks inside. And I, I walked home crying, like, why did he spit on me? And I, I go to my mom, like, Mama, I don't understand. Why did, why did he say that? I live here, I was born here. I mean, why? I, don't, I just didn't get it, I was so innocent. And kids I grew up with my entire life, since I was nine. Um, once 9-11 happened, my whole life, and that I was just this quiet little girl that really never did anything. Um, it didn't matter. One time I got mad at my friend. Just I got mad, whatever. He was, being, he was being silly, and I got mad at him. And I walked away, and one of the guys goes, don't make Suzanne mad, she'll fly a plane into your house. I have been to Palestine five times. I just got back this summer. I was working with a, a group called Christian Peacemaker Team. They work all over the world with uh, people who are oppressed. And in this case, they stand on the side of the Palestinians, and they work with the Palestinians. So we went and we interviewed people and we, we heard their real stories and we actually got to see some human rights violations in front of our eyes and we were able to document it and be a part of protecting the kids from getting hurt and, and things like that. I've always been a person who always wanted to help people. Always, 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 always wanted to help people. But I never really knew how. I didn't like medicine, I didn't want to be a doctor. So I came to Webster kind of on accident all the deadlines were up at the other schools. This is the only one that it, the deadline wasn't up for. So I applied and I came. And I, um, I saw the, in the catalog, International Human Rights. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I, let me take a couple of classes. And uh, I signed up for Amnesty International. And they sent me this email with a link on it that said Invisible Children. And anything that I do for the rest of my life, I want it to be about kids and helping kids, always. So I click on this link, because it says children on it, and I started seeing how young people were making a difference. I mean, these kids were saving other kids' lives in, in northern Uganda. They, they did so much for these kids, and I thought, oh my goodness, wow, really? I can do something that important at this young of an age? I don't have to wait till I'm 45 and working for the UN, fingers crossed, to do something? I can do it now, and it kind of like clicked. I started opening my eyes to the injustices of the world, and I started realizing that there are laws that need to be implemented, and that there are people that need to stop being so apathetic. And it just, it kind of just triggered, and I got completely overwhelmed, but completely excited at the same time. And I thought, oh my gosh, we have stuff to do. We need to get things done. And I've just kind of been on that road ever since.